I'm Matt Johnston. This is my partner, John Douglas Rainey. It's been a while, but once upon a time, we were burglars. Now we're here to help law-abiding citizens avoid this. First, we find a property that's just begging to get hit. That is our target. Our producers tell the owners we could strike at any time, day or night. They'll have no idea when it'll go down, just like the real thing. Then we rigged the place with cameras to track John's every move, stealing thousands of dollars worth of goods or getting caught red-handed. After the break-in, a top-to-bottom security makeover. Today, we hit newlyweds Jimmy and Janine. They just built their dream house in this tight-knit urban community. I just got my wife. The marriage so far, so great. Very happy with our home, our life, our work, work is great. our family. And we plan on staying here a long time. But despite their long-term plans, this New York City firefighter and middle school teacher haven't given a second thought to home security. Other than the dog, we have no security. Yeah. One of the reasons why we don't have a security system is because the neighborhood's filled with cops and firemen. We just don't feel we need it. Uh, For someone to come in and take stuff would be heartbreaking. I don't think I would feel safe anymore. Unfortunately for these two, the honeymoon's over. Don't take my dog, you I like this neighborhood. It's kind of like a working man's beach, suburban area. Oh, you know what? Did I just see another FDNY sticker in that house? Oh, yeah. I'm seeing a lot of fire department stickers in the windows, like right there. Yeah. So this is like a FDNY neighborhood. What does that mean? I mean, the name of the show is not It Takes an Arsonist. It really entices me, though, to want to rob a fireman, because I haven't robbed the fireman yet, which means we haven't helped any firemen out yet. A lot of these guys probably look out for each other, you know? It's a great point. And I gotta say, I don't like any of these houses on both streets because I can't, I can't hide myself. Look, I can see in the backyard of every single house here. Well, these backyards are really killing me. Wait a minute, what about that one right there? Hmm, that looks interesting. That's actually one of the few houses where you can walk on both sides. Think anybody's home? Probably not. Well, come on, I'm not getting arrested by myself. You know, let me just, uh... I don't think anybody's home. Oh, jeez, this is really narrow, man. Is there a house right there? Yeah. Just, uh, hang on here for a second. Okay. If anybody comes, I'll whistle. It's locked. You gotta get a pool table down here. Oh, you can't steal a pool table. Look, street access right here. The close proximity of these homes is a little worrisome. But when John's got his heart set on something... This is the one. There's no turning back. Okay. Now, it's up to the producers to convince Jimmy and Janine they need to get robbed. And after owning up to virtually non-existent security, they let us rig cameras throughout the house. Over the next couple of days, John does his best to keep tabs on their daily routine, despite the plethora of curious neighbors. Finally, I get the call from John. Hey, we're doing this. Yeah, just tell me when. Right now. Now? Hey, can I help yeah, yeah, right now. Okay, yeah. Hello? 
Yeah, I'm sorry. I was lost. I needed directions. Where are you going? I'm all good. I get myself set up in the surveillance van, and it's showtime. Now, as you can see from the exterior cameras here, these houses are really, really tight together. There's people out in the neighborhood. They're out everywhere. So this might be a tough one. OK, here's a van just pulled up. That's definitely John. There's dirt bikes going by. There's kids playing outside. Surely he's not going to do this right now. He sees the kids playing, and he's gone. He's left. It's just too risky. He may pop in this door here and say, forget it. Let's come back tomorrow. Hang on a second. Now he's on the side of the house. Ah, he's going to do it now. He's got on a fire department shirt. I guess he thinks that makes him blend in. Oh, he just jumped over the little fence. He parked on the back side of the house. Whoa. So here comes John. He just dropped down beside that boat. And now he's on the side of the house. And I think that people can still see him from back over here. There are kids walking out in front of the house, playing baseball. Well, he's taking the cover off of the grill. So obviously, he's trying to make some cover for himself. Oh, he's got that air conditioning unit. He's just going to push that through. It's not as easy as it looks. He's pushing it through. He got it. He got it. Oh! Now, the dog has popped his head up in the kitchen. He knows something's going on, and he's coming to figure it out. Well, now he's got the whole barbecue pit. This is not time to throw a party. Ah, oh, there's a lady walking by with her kid. And this is happening feet away from them. There she goes. Oh, so now what he's going to do is just keep that barbecue pit right in front of the window where he pushed in the AC unit. And now nothing looks suspicious at all. Except for to the dog. Hey. Here comes the dog. Oh, look at this fish. He's in the house. I really thought that dog might try to take a bite out of John. OK, so now John has an open door. And he's parked that barbecue pit right in front of that window where he broke in it. OK, now John's inside. Seems like he's found something that he likes. Maybe checkbook, credit card, something like that. OK, so now he's got these big trash bags. Now, I've never seen him do this before. He usually finds luggage or a duffel bag or even like something like a uh, pillowcase, but he's running through this house with garbage bags, and I don't really get it. OK, now he's in the master bedroom. OK, looks like he's found something in the closet that he likes. Looks like he's going through the shoes up on top. He, he might be looking for a hiding spot for some cash or something. I keep looking outside the house at all these people walking by, huh. going by on bicycles. Must have a gun around here. Uh-oh. There's a gun in this house? Well, well, another gun, 9-11. How you doing? If he can load up this loot, oh my God. it's the highest of the century. 